I tako babo je otišao sa svojim zelenim ruksakom. Father left with his green backpack on his back in which he carried all our documents. He told us then, all this should be with me. It will be okay. I will be there. We spent two nights here in Potokai in a fabric factory. Those were the nights of terror and horror. I remember that during the daytime everything was normal. People walked around. But with nightfall you would suddenly hear screams coming from somewhere. We then went to Tuzla. They accommodated us at the Spionica Collective Centre. I spent 11 years there. I completed my primary, high school and university education, spending all those years waiting for my father. We waited for him to arrive, to get in touch, but he never did. He never came, there was no word from him, nothing. In 2006, I returned to Srebrenica, as did many of my friends. There are a number of us here who are friends, it was not easy, but we came back. There are people here on whose behalf a genocide was committed, and Srebrenica was given to the Republic of Spurska. I returned back here, got a family of my own. I live in Srebrenica now. I have a little girl who goes to kindergarten here. This is where our life is. This memorial centre belongs to the state of Bosnia and Herzegovina. It is the state comprised of the Republic of Spurtska, Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Birchko District and Potokai Memorial Centre, which is the only thing here under the state jurisdiction. When the High Representative decided to put the Memorial Centre under the state jurisdiction, we, the victims, were content with that, as it gave us some satisfaction. Those who committed the genocide at least do not rule this part of the land. As for us, 18 years later, we continue to wait for our father. Only he will now return in a coffin with his incomplete remains. But at least he will finally find peace in this memorial centre and he will be buried in Potokai this year. Ovim dijelom.